Reban Stores, 25 years of providing great retail business solutions. Reban Stores delivers great products and services to customers every day. They are one brand out to provide a seamless shopping experience to people. Its strong culture and values are part of its core purpose and what makes it a successful company. A leading one-stop retail store in Nigeria that carries virtually everything you need in a home with products ranging from clothing, wine, mother care, electronics, groceries, kitchen hardware, fruits, vegetables, baked produce and lots more. There's just so much that makes Roman stores very exceptional. It's a store of varieties and plenty options. It also currently contributes heavily in taking people off the job market with a staff strength of over 1,000 people. Behind me is a 10th Roban Stores Mega Mall opened in Onsuka on the 26th of September 2024 in Southeast Nigeria. From Oka to Abakliki to Nnewi to Asaba to Enugu, which has the head office and currently has six mega stores. One thing is clear, Roban Stores has the secret. Roman Stores has mastered the art of retail business in Nigeria, providing its customers with premium, top-notch quality products. They cook them and they keep coming back for more. But how did this all start? We will take you to the very beginning. This is a journey of 25 years. 25 years of hard work, resilience, and staying power through different odds and challenges. We will hear the story from the founder himself, Sir Robert Onyebuchi Anwatu, the MD and CEO of Roban Group, also the chairman of Roban Stores. The story of Roban Stores started in 1999, but I need to go back a little bit to tell you, give you a little background before and I'll tell you the story. I came back to Nigeria in 1984. 1985, I started a business called Ultimate Gifts and then Roban Industries. What we used to do then is to import the profiles of frames and then cut them to different sizes of photo frames. I had a, a gift shop that is called Ultimate Gifts. That was in Benin from 1985 to about 1989 when I moved to Enugu. Still so move on with Roban Industries, making photo frames and then Ultimate Gifts. Till 1999. That's when we established Robin stores. But Ultimate Gifts were limited. Ultimate Gifts, people look at the gift shop. It wasn't enough. It wasn't wide enough. So we now want to make it more comprehensive. That was why we opened Robin stores. One stop center. Two things. It has been rough and good. Rough in the sense that uh, business environment in Nigeria is not smooth. Most times it's not favorable to anybody, especially to businessmen. Government change their policies every day. And this uh, police change affects our business decisions. And then there's this problem of uh, multiple taxation from local government to the state. Then it, it talk of the, the, the inflation and exchange rate. Exchange rate is never steady in Nigeria. And that's affecting the prices of goods. And then the staff. It's not easy to manage the staff. But I thank God. God has made it possible for us to get to where we are today. We started with one location, and now we have 10 locations and still growing. So it's God's work. I thank God for His grace. So it has been rough, but God has been with us. Roban is unique because Roban is one-stop center. You know, you, know, you know, in those days, I used to say Roban stores simply the best. And the best in the sense that uh, it's better than most stores around here. In terms of service, in terms of what we provide, the goods we carry, the goods we sell. And then how we, how we attend to our customers, you know? And then later we change it uh, to Roban, home of variety, you know? Home of variety, because we, more, we have far more variety than most stores of our size. We have more variety. We have almost everything you need for your household. You know, starting from the bakery to the household, to the fashion, to um, mother care, 
stationery, everything you need for your office, for your home, and for your body. We have them all. Most, most shops might have other things. They won't have fashion department. Some don't have bakery department. Some don't sell electronics. But we sell everything. That's what makes Roban unique. And then the service we provide, you cannot try to compare it to other stores around us. I have been working with my wife for a long time. My wife was a lawyer. Is a lawyer. She was a magistrate in Old Anambra State. She resigned and joined me in building Roban stores. We have been working well. Coming from the other side, I was in the civil service, you know, before we got married, I never knew I would venture into business. But um, when I now came in, you know, the, what made it actually, you know, to be successful or the working relationship is there, understanding is there, and God has been helping us. So, like I said, you know, I do the purchasing, you know, I deal with the suppliers, once it's the fashion section, it's me and me alone. Some people, you know, used to fake perfumes and which had a lot of alcohol in them. But when we started, they kept on complaining. And you show them, you give them the original perfume. They complain, this one doesn't last, it doesn't last, it doesn't do this. I said, look here, because you have not used the original, you've been using fake. So we now see the original, you cannot differentiate, you know. You try to compel them to buy and to give them advice that this is the original. We don't sell fake, but it was difficult for them to accept it. It took some time, you know, before some started accepting and then, you know, they believed in what we were doing. I started with Roban stores through my, my former Leventis colleague who introduced me to him at the trade fair complex, former trade fair complex. And then, I was the supervisor then until we now had a new shop at Bisala, from where I now became the manager until my retirement. I worked for Robin Stores for 20 years altogether. The first time I met my boss, he was like, if you don't, if you live here without learning anything, you will never learn anything in life again. Because there are so many things to learn working in Robin Stores, working with me as the and then it's a good family, a united family where they, I learned unity, I learned understanding, I learned tolerance because so many couples don't work together. So many couples cannot work together, I know it, and I learned it from them. I equally learned commitment and integrity because he's always there, his wife is always there. Robin Stores has grown to be a brand that promotes family culture. As members of the family grow up learning about the business and eventually join to add their knowledge and quota in providing excellent retail services. I grew up in the business, um, you know, right from primary school, secondary school, I was always there. Even if I didn't understand what was happening, but I was always in my father's business, always following him around, trying to understand. You know, uh, I worked in different departments, got a feel of different processes in the business. And as I was growing, when I was in the university, um, I wanted to go into film uh, school. I wanted to actually go to film school. I got an admission to uh, Art Institute of Miami. But uh, had, I remember having a conversation with a friend of mine and he told me that, Rob, what are you actually doing? Since I've known you, you've been selling things, you're good at you know, retail, that's what you've been doing. So why don't you, are you sure you want to go into film? So over, the, over time, I had to tell myself the truth that you know, retail is what I've been living for um, without even knowing. So um, I went for my master's, did a master's in management, uh, took up a functional role as a director in November 2014. And since then, it's been great. As executive director, you know, to be honest, I work, I'd, I'd like to say I do more of the CEO, you know, day-to-day -day operations of the business, you know, getting to know what happens in every store, you know, how do you run um, every other, every operational um, side of the business actually goes through me. It's been great to be honest, but you know Nigeria makes things a bit a bit difficult because of the challenges. You know, you see yourself having to uh, you know having to work with prices every day, fluctuations and things. You know, um, damages. You know, uh, you know due to the trucks and your uh, assets that you have. But it's been great to be honest. It's been good. You know, been running it ten years now and plus, and uh, it's been a great experience for me and. The business has been fantastic. Working with my father has been fantastic, to be honest. Anyone who is, who is in the family business knows that it's never easy. You see, uh, <laughs> um, the truth is that maybe on the outside, like when people tell me, oh, you know, you're doing a great job, you know, you're, you're doing this, you're doing that. I tell them, you know, I had to earn it. 
you know, um, like I said, 10 years is no joke. You know, I've had to play my part and, you know, build that trust between both of us. And now it's been good. It's been good. I've learned a lot. It's, it's been a great learning curve for me. And uh, I'm still learning, to be honest, because there are still things that, you know, he gets to tell me every day. He gets, you know, he gets to teach me. And it's, it's a privilege, to be honest, you know, to be here and to learn from him, who is, who me, I say, is a master in this game. I manage over 1,000 employees, direct and indirect, which is our contract staff, um, the merchandisers, um, senior staff, and all that. And um, one of my biggest, almost challenging roles is recruitment, finding the right talents for each um, job vacancies. I would say it's challenging being one of the highest employee of labor here in the Southeast. We have to do with a lot of employees and you know, human management is one of the most difficult things because human come with a lot of emotions. So that is one. Recruitment, like trying to select top talents. I think it's quite challenging seeing competent people that fill up the positions that are available at a given time. I think a lot of people want to work, but they're not just capable of delivering. So that's a big challenge for us. Maintaining those that you already have is another challenge. But thankfully, there is a system and a culture that makes it easier for us to retain people. So honesty is important as well. As, um, as much as strength and um, eagerness to work because we are, we are up on our feet every day. Everybody's doing something. You are attending to customers, even if you are not in the my end uh, shopping mall. Back end, we are doing something. The warehouse, we are doing something. The head office, we are doing something that involves a lot of people. So you must, we are looking for people with energy. I think that's the right word. People with energy, willing to work, giving their best excellence. And that's, that's something that this generation needs. And uh, I'm glad that we have the best hands here. Urban Stores has also groomed hardworking and competent managers, regular staff who have become managers. It is one big family. It has been so exciting, experimental, in a way, because um, for the past, within few years right now, uh, I've been with the company and I discovered that what you see that is happening today in Robin stores is not actually by a sudden flight. Um, people coming together, having a kind of vision. And vision, the vision we talked about, we are talking about is the vision from, the, from our chairman. The chairman is a visionary leader and he has this vision and gathers some people to work for him. And I can say that within this period, that it is only the process, the commitment, which we find ourselves as a team, the commitment to the process in order to ensure that the vision of our leader is actually being actualized. You can see like the expansion you see today, like I said before, is because people understand what it takes to come together as a team. People understand what it takes to trust a process. And with that, I can say that my experience all this while has been very rewarding. And I, thank, I give God all the glory. River Stores is founded on deep Christian principles. Uh, honestly speaking, I would say they are they are religious people. They they keep to God's at least they have the fear of God because I know so many pastors that will come pass Robana and say, Ah, thank God for these people. At least a pastor has told me. Now no go no back for Robin so no not be very happy because for all the money that they will miss on Sunday doesn't still make them to want to open on Sundays. And they are they they, they pay their salaries regularly. No matter what is happening, they can penalize you for making mistakes, but they do not tam they will not tamper with your salary unless you give them cost to, to, to tamper with it. So they are uh, uh, consistent salary payers and uh, lovers of their staff. Being a family-oriented business, there is already a culture that makes everybody feel that we are all in this together. And that makes people to flourish in their giving, positions so we have policies that 
look out for our employees so they, they are safe their safety is number one and the fact that we are up to date with our payments i think that's one challenge a lot of businesses face we have policies in place that cater for their needs and um, that way they also attract top talent to us. Berber Stores believes in bringing its services closer to the people. This is the idea behind the various expansions and branches it has witnessed. He has business acumen and he's, he's, he's optimistic, he, he, he's futuristic, he looks into things that are happening and he takes the bull by, I, I don't know if I say he's a, a shrewd business person, I don't know whether I'll be making an overstatement, but I know what I mean by being a shrewd business person is that he, he, he has large hearts for business, he doesn't go for small, small business, he takes it big, even when there was no big shop in, in, in in Enugu State. He was the first person that had a big shopping mall, you know, that attracted people's attention and from there people started uh, uh, having the mind of building big shops that believe they work out. For example, so many bakeries closed before he came into Bimbel. When he started making his Roban bread, people were like, ah, ah. so bread in Agatha like this. And then they went and refurbished their, their, their businesses, their bakeries, and they started thriving again. So he encourages people to, to go into business and believe that this business will bear fruit thereafter. In, in, in retail, you need to grow. Because uh, with one shop, you probably don't have the advantage to talk to big manufacturers. Those companies deal with you when you have multiple branches. For you to be able to get a better price, you need to have multiple branches. Because it's only when you have uh, multiple branches that these big companies will talk to you. And what does that mean? That means you can get a better price. Because in retail business, it's all about competition. The markup is so little that if you don't have the right price, nobody comes in to buy. But when you buy from these companies, you have the right price. We had a wonderful experience at Osoka. They were so excited. It's like they were waiting for us to come in. What happened on that day was unbelievable. They accepted, even some accept before, before even seeing, you know, that kind of thing. They were really excited. People from different local governments in Osoka they were just trooping in throughout that weekend. You know, they were so happy that Froban stores came into Osoka. So people were so happy. And the same thing, even at Ne, when we opened Ne, people from different local governments were coming. Because they had to travel all the way to Oka Enugu to do their purchases. But when we came, you know, they really accepted us and, um, you know, happy whatever they wanted, I mean, they saw in the shops. And they were really happy. They accept, accepted us. Retail business is, it takes 100% of your attention. It's not a business you start and then you go somewhere else and live and enjoy yourself. Uh -uh. That business, will, that retail shop will close up. Retail business needs your attention and you have to be passionate about it. You have to love that business. Because with retail business means you'll be staying in one place. They're not the type that move around so much. And then you have to have patience, like every other industry, like every other business. You have to have patience for that business to grow. You know, you don't have to be distracted. Most times people are distracted. People want to be in 10 businesses in one time. People want to do what their friend is doing. Hey, my advice to the person is to not be distracted. Mind your own business, stay in your own business, pay your dues. And then after a while, you start enjoying. And that's what I have done. And that's what I would advise everybody to do. I've been shopping with Roban Stores for close to, or rather, more than 20 years. And I'm so delighted about that. Roban Stores, they have quality goods and their services are on point. I love shopping with Roban Stores because I shop with ease and I get everything I want. As Roban Stores celebrates 25 years, the chairman and CEO of Roban Group is grateful to God for so much and is looking forward to doing more. I'm grateful to so many things. First to God, who made it all possible. It's not because we are better than people who could not even expand their own business, who could not move from one location to a second location and third location, but God has taken us too far. So even when I started this business, I didn't know in a few years I'll have 10 branches and more are coming. So I'm thankful to God Almighty. Then thankful to my family, my wife, and my son, 
Onyebishi, the, the executive director of this company, who has been working hard too to make sure that we grow. And then I'm grateful to my staff, all the people that have been with us all these years to help us grow. Because I cannot be in all locations by myself. So I need staff. So part of the growth or reasons why we have grown is because of them. I thank them too. And then to all the customers that have been coming to Roban, that believe in Roban. There are people that believe in Roban. They will not go any other place except Roban. And I promise those people that will continue to give them the best quality and the best price. It's been a wonderful experience from one level of growth to the other. And like I said, God has been helping us. There's no way we can do this thing without Him. Um, 25 years, it's been a long time. I'm thankful for growth. You know, I'm thankful for expansion. You know, thankful for dominance, you know, in the retail sector. You know, we've been able to do a lot, whole lot in the South South, in the South East, and we're still growing. I'm thankful for all these things. Roban Stores has come a long way. Thank God, you know, for making it possible for us to be us, you know, to be here, you know, being able to be recognized, you know, as one of the leading uh, supermarkets in Nigeria. I'm grateful for so many things, not just being part of the business, but being part of the family. I'm most grateful for the growth. So I think the openness towards um, having the chairman and um, our big mommy being our, will I say, I think when I'm in the office, I say like I'm learning, I'm being tutored. So seeing that at 25, I'm here with them, learning from the pioneers, the founders, is something I'm very grateful for because I get to understand the passion of the business, why it started in the first place. I'm not, nobody's going to tell me stories. I'm hearing it directly from them. I'm seeing it. So it's easy for me to relate and to continue in that path. And since it's a generational business, they're also relying on me to pass that same stories to my children. So getting it firsthand from them is a blessing. And seeing how it helps a lot of families, you cannot begin to understand. I think I remember when um, someone was asking the chairman about expanding and he was like, I'm not expanding because of my children anymore, they are okay, but the fact that more families are going to have an opportunity to go and work, to have, to make future billionaires and millionaires through, um, through the business is growing. So, and I'm also grateful for the growth so far, having heard and seen the progress from when it was just ultimate gift to here is inspiring. I think if I'm this inspired, I don't know how someone watching or seeing our story will be feeling, but it's truly something to celebrate. And being a part of the family and part of the business is one of my proudest moments. It's been an interesting ride. And here we cannot fail to say congratulations to Robin Stores on your 10th store in Asuka, of course, on, in the whole of Nigeria as well. And happy 25th anniversary. Happy 25th anniversary, Robin Stores. 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 Happy 25 years anniversary, Robin Stores. Happy 25 years anniversary, Robin Stores. Happy 25th anniversary, Robin Stores. Happy 25th anniversary, Robin Stores. Happy 25th anniversary, Robin Stores. Happy 25 years, Robin Stores. Happy 25th anniversary, Robin Stores.